With the 4th of July falling on a Thursday this year, that means a lot of folks also took Friday off of work. And in this region, that means many more boaters out on the water. As News Channel 7's Austin Maida tells us, that makes the FWC's job as important as ever. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. That's a mouthful, right? However, the job description for their law enforcement division is anything but. Right now we're on water patrol, so we're on one of our marked patrol vessels, so it's a Basically like a police car on the water. On Friday, I was able to join three FWC officers for a ride along on one of those patrol vehicles. On a holiday weekend, you're going to see a high influx of boat traffic out here. So what we're going to want to make sure to check while we're out here is that everyone's being safe. When we stop vessels, we're looking for all the required safety gear, whether it be life jackets, uh, horn and whistle, um, fire extinguishers, all the required safety gear of being on a vessel. If we see a boat that's openly displaying fishing gear, we're going to do a resource inspection and check the fish that they have, make sure that they're in season, that they have the correct bag limit and size limits as well. During the ride along, we took a trip over to the very popular Shell Island. On a big time holiday weekend, boaters flock to the area and the FWC isn't trying to cramp anyone's style. Our number one priority is safety. Safety out here on the water, making sure everyone gets home safe. We want everyone to come out and have fun and enjoy the holiday. But we also want to make sure people are doing that safely. So we want to make sure that all the required safety gear is present on the vessels, that people are operating the boats safely and also operating them while they're sober and not intoxicated. Speaking of sober, the holiday weekend also marks Operation Dry Water, a national event for law enforcement agencies. So this weekend, we want to really promote that no one is operating a vessel while their normal faculties are impaired, whether it's from alcohol, prescription drugs, or illegal drugs. So if you see an FWC officer patrolling the waters this weekend, give a friendly wave. Our officers are going to be out this weekend working hard, working long hours, making sure everyone's safe and making sure everyone's having a fun weekend. In Bay County, Austin Maida, News Channel 7. The FWC also wants to make sure all boaters know to stay locked on Channel 16 on their boat radios as that's the easiest way to get in touch with them or the Coast Guard in case of an emergency.